Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairo. Today we will be making key fobs. We are going to start with cutting two faux leather sheets at 8 inches long. You can make them in two different colors for fun. We are also going to be using some fabric tack. Just sprinkle some right center in the middle. I was having some hard time with my bottle, but just a little bit goes a long way. I couldn't figure out how to add text, so I just wanted to say quickly that I am gluing it down in the middle just so that I can feel like it's secured just a little bit more but you do not need to glue it if you don't have the glue I just like to really make sure that it's going to stay together and it's not going to bunch up in the middle when it folds um, with like all the keys and everything make sure that when we are getting ready to sew the um, the seams down that you try to stay as close to one eighth of an inch as possible it just makes it look a little bit neater and um, try to stay between a 3.0 and a 3.5 stitch length um, because this doubles as um, you know, to secure down the two pieces of full leather and a decorative stitch. Here, I like to just sew it down up on the top. This just makes me feel like it's, again, more secured. Um, and as you can see, my, um, my thread broke, so I had to re-thread. But here we go, just adding a top stitch. I just back stitch a couple times, just like that. And here, my kids um, had taken the silicone top piece of the little handle thing that I don't know what it's called. So I have this piece of cloth just to protect the key fob hardware. And um, yeah, it is all completed here. This white one, I did add the little tag up on top and the red one, I just added a little tassel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial in making these key fobs today with us. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next Thursday on the next Teaching Treasures tutorials. Please consider subscribing and liking this video. Bye.